No, sir. All right, Port City. Do you want? Do you have any question, brother? Yeah, I, I got a couple questions. Um, I like your background, man. Love your background. Loving the background. It. Thank y'all for having me on the panel tonight. I appreciate everybody on uh, here. Yeah, I, I just got a question. Where do we find the Hebrew culture in West Africa? Mm, good before, question. You know, before European had contact with us, and where do we find the Hebrew culture in the early Americas and in South America and the Caribbeans? Where does that culture transfer from Africa and get taken over? Like, I, I haven't seen it. I've seen Yoruba, Ibu. I've seen several um, Vood, Badum. I, don't, I just don't see any presence of Hebrew. Can somebody answer that for me? Yeah, it's there. Um, especially, especially in South America. Uh, let, me, can I, uh, let me answer the brother real quick. Uh, well, I guess I don't matter. Let me ask real quick. Uh, no, hold uh, on, Judah, Judah, Judah. Apostle was talking. Apostle was no, talking. No, no. no. Okay. Judah, got, bad, Judah got all the information. I'm going to let him handle it. Go ahead, Apostle. I said Judah got all the information. Go ahead, Judah. He he gave up. Go ahead, Judah. I'm going to yield to Judah since he, he just ignored Okay, me. I was going to say... Uh, my bad, Apostle. No, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. No, uh, go, go ahead. ahead bro. You got the information. Go ahead. Okay, I was going to ask, uh, uh, I don't know why these guys keep asking the same question. Me, Elder Yara, and others have repeatedly shown. And we, the, the, we're telling you that some of us, we, we begin to wane in our culture. So you're saying, well, where, where was this culture? When we went to Africa, day, we begin to, to stop. Yo, that. one person talking, man. Uh, we, we begin to wane from our, from our, our culture. So you, you go on over there looking for a... Uh, Zeke, David, and all that. That wasn't going on. We were already, uh, uh, you know, we forsook our heritage. So that's why we keep showing you all these sources of these, these European travelers going into West Africa. They kept saying, there's these black Jews, these Israelites amongst the, the, the native quote-unquote Africans. And we were treated, this is during the time of the slave trade. So I wonder why y'all keep asking the same question. Like, bro, cut it out, bro. Like, you know, we know. No, nah, but they keep that's saying, they keep saying, Jim. They keep saying Jews, not Israelites. They're saying the word Jews. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay. I see. What, yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay, I, I guess. Oh, that's yeah, well, Let me okay, take this far. Let me yeah. take this far. Let me take this answer. Now, like I said, Israelites has become a topic of conversation today. In the 1800s and in the 1600s and in the 1500s, the, the emphasis was on Jew. There was no, they didn't make a difference between the white man Jew and the black man Jew because the white man, and they understood his place. He came later. He is a con So in, in Portugal, when they- You said, you said, about, hold up. You said, who's a convert, brother? And the I black man not, Jew is not converted? No, he's not. Understand so you're not a convert? You're not converted? No, we are from the tribe of Shem. We are from the heritage of Shem. Okay. The European is from the heritage of Japheth. And not to say that Japheth was a white man. He was probably an albino. I'm not saying that. But What, what the I'm hell is going on? Stop, Apostle. You just can I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem. And double honors to the elder apostles and even the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well. Sincere honors and salute to you other brethren scattered abroad in sincerity. Shalom to the, even you few sisters. Shalom to the elect. Hopefully elect. Shalom to the elect. Shalom. So, um, came across this video here. Uh, you know, before I get started, the one thing that I've noticed when it comes to anybody against us, it's almost like they're the pit bulls for the um, the elites that allowed us to go go forward, because they would never question or do any history or anything dealing with those people in the land, the, the people who set all this up, right, and what happened to us by going to the root cause of the problem. They don't do that. Just like when we are at camp, the main thing they do. Not white, so-called white people, but Jake, so-called black people, uh, will come up and stand there and try to question the uh, validity of what we teach. 
instead of listening and saying, well, wait a minute, these guys could be right. But anyway, uh, going into these guys here, and that's what I mean, these debates, it's it's madness, you know. But anyway, going in there, they said, where's the proof, you know. First of all, it's, this is a faith-based situation. Now, John 6 and uh, 16 and 14, I believe, says, when the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth, right? So this really goes back to spirituality, but it also when you go back to the history, there was history. You got to even go back before Africa because even before a lot of us migrated into West Africa, South Africa, right? Europe, Spain. So he talked about the Europeans. Well, first of all, this is what these brothers should have brought out before the fact that it was Jake so-called blacks in Europe, right? <laughs> but that's our history, you know? Even after the fall of Rome, you know, as Rome was going down, we start coming into power for a good period of time. And then when you got get up to the 13, late 13, 1400s, we was losing power, but we were still in some form of power. It wasn't like we was completely out of power. I mean, you had the King James 1611. So there was a lot of history there. And then I looked on, I'm not going to make this long, but I looked on there. There was a, um, a movie called Reclaiming the Throne, which is a documentary that breaks a lot of that down. I didn't, I saw somebody posted it, but I never looked at it. But it goes into the uh, biblical uh, prophecies, or, or let me just say the children of Israel's identity right there's a lot of history on that you can go to uh timbuktu okay there's all kinds of history uh this guy talked about um the uh igbo and yoruba um and various other dialects which was a mixture with hebrew right so this is crazy that for whatever reason the white man uh john chapleon went into egypt and uh, tore down those hieroglyphics, right? But Ptolemy went in uh, uh, Egypt, <laughs> let me say prior, and uh, uh, created his own library, burnt uh, whatever he did and burnt the library, Alexandria. So the, according to what these guys are saying, even their translations and things that they're speaking of aren't right. And all the information they're getting, they're getting from what? So-called white people. Jeremiah 17 and 4, and even thyself, even thou, even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. This is all proof according to the Bible. All we got to do is look in the Bible. The Bible will tell, tell us the history. When you go into the Bible, it speaks of Antiochus, Alexander, Darius. I mean, we can go on and on to, to uh, Nebuchadnezzar, you know, the, the leaders, you know, you can go to the 12 feathers. I mean, there's various history, secular history, and people of history that's linked in the scriptures. So that's how we know. Right? And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever, which is a period of time. So then we go to the precept for this. It says, uh, Deuteronomy 28, 48, Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in one of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Now, we can go all through the history of the Bible with, with the, um, the siege going to 70 AD, right? I believe when Yahweh said, um, um, basically, pray not your flight being a winner, and various other things where we had, you know, the siege of um, the siege of Jerusalem, the 70 AD, right? So there was all, that's all these guys had to say. That's all these brothers. I think one of them was Judah Nazara. He's an Old Testament Israelite, right? This guy, the, um, the apostle, I don't know what kind of Israelite he is, but all you got to do is go into the history uh, of the scriptures, you know, or just in history in general, um, 
And it just makes sense. Now, who else had a yoke of, a yoke of iron upon our neck? Right? And where did this happen? <laughs> well, we got brought over, taken over. And then he said, where's the other proof? Like with the Native Americans, which was proof. Like uh, down in South America. They went and collected, you know, went after the Jews, man. The, the, uh, the Jews and then the Hebrew Israelites, right? Because you got Jews and you got, you got the southern tribe and you got the northern tribe. The tribe of Judah, Benjamin and Levi, and then you had the northern tribe. They was going around when they, when, how we understand this is they put hell on the Israelites. When you read Deuteronomy 28, this is talking about the Israelites in general, right? It's more than one tribe. Let me read this little article. It says the Lamba are a Southern African Bantu speaking population, which you go into the Bantu. A lot of these languages have some Hebrew dialect in there. Claiming Jewish ancestry, claiming Jewish ancestry. Uh, of four different wise specific polymorphic loc a lot of a lot of these Israelites get into this. Um I'm not gonna read all this. They get into but it does show proof of the markers um, as well as extended haplotype frequencies. They're talking about the DNA that included data from several loci um, analyze an attempt to establish the genetic infinities and origins of the Lamba. The results suggested that 50% of Lamba Y chromosomes are schematic in origin. It's a submedic, but shemetic in origin. Approximately 40% of Negroid and the ancestry of the remainder cannot be resolved. They can't resolve that, right? These wise specific genetic findings are consistent with Lamba oral tradition analysts of the history of Jewish people and their association with Africa indicated that the historical facts are not incompatible with theories concerning the origin of the Lemba. So, they're not going to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, you know. But the bottom line is there is evidence of that. But the Negroids, right, it's the, you know, the card is out. The, you know, the, the, uh, the judges is out on that. Nobody knows all of a sudden. But for whatever reason, they came over to West Africa, right? Picked up these slaves and from Spain, Europe, but Spain, Portugal, Africa, picked up these slaves, right? Now, you got to understand when we went down into Africa from, you know, and Europe, Africa, and various other places, we adopted different practices. And then we went down in Africa, we also adopted Islam. Uh, some of us had a Moorish belief, which Moors come off of, uh, you know, basically a portion of Islam, you know. So we started following a lot of these different practices because thou shalt discontinue from that heritage. That's that's the proof. That's the proof right there. Exodus 11 and 7. But against the children of any children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast that ye may know that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel right so this doctrine that he get the Japhetics is kind of like a divine prospect doctrine that they were albino and that was the people in the land today they're albino or whatever I don't know they, there's so many doctrines that's why I wouldn't I think throughout the whole doc, this whole debate, if I was sitting there, I'd be questioning other Israelites. I wouldn't be concerned about those Egyptologists. I'd be like, what's up with y'all doctrine, man? What, what the hell are y'all teaching? And why can't y'all go into the history of the Bible and pull out and show you're supposed to be able to answer every question? Why couldn't you just prove it according to the Bible? Deuteronomy 28 is a clear proof. And where did this happen where they took these people and put yokes of iron on their neck and brought them on slave ships that's clear where did they go to get these slaves 
You know what I'm saying? Where else did they go? They went in the west part of Africa. And that's where they picked the slaves out. It's clear and 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 this guy wants to know where's the proof of the evidence. The proof of the evidence is there. It's always been there. Well, they wiped, you know, they tried to eventually do away with it. But the evidence and the proof comes from the history. And what happened to us? What else do you need to know? You know, that's what I mean by these guys. They pop up and they're scholars and they need to know the proof and evidence. Well, I'd ask them, where's the proof of the evidence of that Egyptology madness? All those gods. Why didn't those gods save your black asses, man? Why did Nut and, and Hotep and the crocodile gods, what happened to those damn gods, man? Why the hell they didn't save y'all? That's the question that I have. Exodus 20 said, thou shalt not have any other god before thee. What happened to those gods? And what happened to the proof? Y'all just come up with this man with the string out of his head and tell y'all any damn thing. But what, as I said, the white man translated the hieroglyphics. The white man went down into Egypt and took Egypt over, man. And that ultimately goes into the breaking down of the Israelites in general. Because we was in Egypt, we was in different places. So we, you know, we still caught hell. Nothing else to say. That's all I have on that shallow wall.